Okay, so we we have a shirt here that we want to design. It's this Frankenstein. And I want to put this on a black t-shirt. So this is the workflow. We begin by knocking out the background. And we'll use the fuzzy select tool. Uh, we also have to add a layer, transparency, add alpha channel. This way, when I go to clear it, it'll go to a transparency. I can hold shift here and just basically uh, knock out this background enough just like that and go to edit clear good now this doesn't have to be perfect because basically what's going to happen it's going to turn to a dot structure anyway so you're not going to see these little flies and furries and all that good stuff we need to set the print size higher we need it to be the print size that we need it to be. So it's uh, 12. And we're going to make sure this is locked. So it's 12 by 15 by proportion. Okay, next. Let's go to filters, distorts, and go to newsprint. Now you can see here in newsprint, it's taking the RGB values and turning them into dots. So a way around this is go to image mode grayscale. Now when I use filter distort in newsprints, there is no dots, just black and white. And we can set our cell size to any cell size we need. Now you might want to play around with the cell size depending upon how big you have your image, what color contrast you want on a shirt, all kinds of good stuff. So you're going to ex have to experiment with that. All right, there we go. We have dots. Now this would work great on a white t-shirt. But what's going to happen is I have a black t-shirt. So I'm going to have to invert the colors on this. And I had to do that transparency background because if I didn't, it would have turned black. All right. Well, I can export as, and I can export this as a, a PDF. That looks all good. I'm just going to export it. We'll go open that up. It's on the desktop. It looks like this. The reason I put it at the PDF is we have a feature in PDF. This is the only Adobe application we use in the lab. We have this. If you go to print, we have poster. And we can set our size. So let's say I wasn't happy with the 12 by 18. Well, I can go up here and scale. I'll say 150. But that is a lot more paper. Now, one thing you should know is uh, the overlap. We have to tape the transparencies together. So I would put an overlap at like at least 0.125 if not if not greater and there's a various things that you could do here but what I would do is keep all that off and go ahead and print these and then you stick them together you just have to match up your dots other than that that's how you make a tiled t-shirt out of GIMP. Enjoy.